Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Exciting day today because as promised I do have a new team for you guys which you can see right there on the screen which we'll get more into in just a second. Our first battle with the team is going to be against Sean and so uh, the team right here is going to be composed of a few familiar faces. So um, Returning from recent Wi-Fi battle series, we have the Gyarados and the Regirock. Then um, some Pokemon we haven't used in quite some time here. We have the Drapion, the Magnezone, and the Azelf. Been quite a long time since we've used uh, some of those guys. And then, of course, uh, one Pokemon we've never used before here is the Sceptile. So definitely looking forward to using this team. Uh, looking at the opponent's team, it looks to be very strong and well-balanced. So what do I want to lead with is the question... And, hmm, that is a good question. Not much time to decide here, but I think, I think we're going to go with the Reggie Rock, actually. So we'll see how that works out. Alright, so it looks like he is going to lead with the Glyce score. So that's not great news for us with the Regirock lead, but just kind of is what it is. So um, I think <clears throat> right out of the gate, I think we're just going to go Stealth Rock here. There's probably not much else we can do to this thing. Uh, he's just going to Earthquake right out of the gate. So that is going to do quite a lot of damage to us. That's going to take us to a little above half. We're going to get the Stealth Rock up in return. Uh, so that's not terrible. We're going to get the entry hazard on him, which is always good. Um, and then we are going to regain some HP with the leftovers. So um, he's actually not poison heal, so that's interesting. I think we're just going to stay in here and go Stone Edge. We don't have uh, a ton else to do. He's going to stay in an Earthquake, and we are barely going to be able to take that, surviving it with 4 HP in the red. Um, we are going to Stone Edge in return. Thankfully, we don't miss, and we're going to take this thing down by a little less than half. Um, so some pretty decent chip there. We get some HP back with the leftovers, which is not bad. And uh, there's really no reason to try and switch to save Regirock at this point, so we're just going to stay in and click Drain Punch, um, see what he wants to do. He's just going to Earthquake again. And from that range, that will definitely finish off our Regirock there. And um, that is going to knock us down to five, but uh, that's okay, not the end of the world. Um, so I think we're going to want to come in here with the uh, Gyarados in return, actually. So that's what we're going to do. So there is the Gyarados. And so I think uh, we're going to go ahead and... It is a little early to set up. Um, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and click Waterfall here. It should be enough, and we do outspeed since we are max speed, and um, the Waterfall is gonna be enough from that range to go ahead and take out the Gliscor and knock him down to five Pokemon, and then we are gonna get a Moxie boost to increase our attack. Um, so that is always good. So we'll see what he wants to do in response. So he's gonna go ahead and come in with the Torterra, so he's going to take some Stealth Rock chip damage, and uh, fortunately for us, we do have the Ice Fang on deck for this thing, so we're just going to go ahead and go for it. Um, so we do outspeed, going to Ice Fang. Thankfully, we don't miss, and that will definitely be enough to get rid of that Torterra uh, from that range, and that is going to knock him down to four. So we do get another Moxie boost off of that, so that is uh, really good news for us. So um, Gyarados definitely putting in some fine work here early. And so now he's going to go ahead and come in with the Empoleon. He's going to take that Stealth Rock damage. And unfortunately, we don't really have anything to do to this thing. I mean, we could stay in uh, and crunch it, but that's about it. Um, but I do think we kind of want to save Gyarados because uh, it could uh, really just uh, decimate most of his team or the rest of his team, actually. So I think we want to save it. So we're going to go ahead and swap right into the Magnezone. So uh, there it is. There it is. And um, he's just going to go ahead and Ice Beam. So 
Um, we are max HP, so that doesn't do too much to us. Um, he actually does get the crit even, and still that does not do much of anything. So we are also magnet pull, so he's not going to be able to switch out here. So we're just going to go ahead and stay in with a choice specs Thunderbolt and hit him with that. He actually outspeeds and goes Hydro Pump and uh, hits us with that. And that is going to take us down to about a quarter, but we do survive and then go for the Thunderbolt. And uh, Choice Specs will definitely be enough to take that Empoleon out and um, max special attack as well. So that is going to knock him down to three. So that is pretty nice for us. So um, he's going to go ahead and come in with the Infernape then. And he is going to take that Stealth Rock damage. So I... Uh, not really much of a point to switching the Magnezone out at this rate, so I think we're just going to stay in and click Thunderbolt again, although probably not going to get an attack off. He is going to actually Flamethrower here, and um, we are not going to be able to take one of those from that range. Uh, he does get the crit, but I don't really think that mattered. So that's going to be in the end of the Magnezone. That's going to knock us down to four, but that's okay. We do still have um, plenty of options on deck here. Um, I... Let's see, what are we going to come in with here? I think... I think we're going to go in with the um, Azelf, actually. So we're going to go ahead and switch in with that. So, um, I think we're just going to go ahead and go straight for um, Psychic here. No reason not to, really. Um, we are max special attack. And life orb so it should be enough from that range but no he's actually gonna go for the switch here and he is going to come in with the Salamence so he's gonna take that stealth rock damage he's gonna get the intimidate to lower our attack not really gonna matter because we're a special set and uh, we're gonna go psychic here and we are max special attack life orb and that is enough actually to just go ahead and take out that Salamence outright uh, so that's pretty nice for us. That is going to knock him down to two as we do take some Life Orb recoil damage there. So uh, now he's going to go ahead and come in with the Gengar. And he is going to take the Stealth Rock damage as well. So I think we're actually just going to stay in and Psychic here. We might, depending on his spread, we might outspeed. Um, but no real reason to switch at this point. So we're just going to stay in and Psychic again. And uh, we do outspeed, so that's nice gonna hit him with the psychic and um, he's not gonna be able to take one of those uh, so that is gonna be it for the Gengar that will knock him down to just one Pokemon as we do take more life orb recoil damage and then his last Pokemon is going to be that Infernape so um, it would really just be a matter of if he can outspeed us uh, depending on his spread he could potentially um, but who knows if he'll be able to one-shot us. I kind of doubt it, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, so no reason to not stay in and just click Psychic one more time. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll see what happens. So we do outspeed this thing, um, so that's good. We're going to go Psychic one more time, and uh, the Infernape will not be able to survive one of those. Um, again, max special attack life orb, so that is going to take it out, and after the life orb recoil, that is game. Alright, so we're going to win that one 4-0 versus Sean, but that was a pretty good match, actually, fun little match, uh, definitely put in some work there with a couple of different Pokemon. So we're going to quit and exit the room. So, uh, that is it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So, that's it, and we'll see you next time.